Hello and welcome to our second episode of Luya Traditions Unveiled. We are unveiling the hows and the whys of Luya culture. My name is Nakimo and I'm thrilled to have you as we continue on this journey to the heart of Luya culture. Uh, today we are uh, looking at the fascinating uh, world of Luya initiation, in this case the circumcision rituals. These have profound significance as they mark the transition of young men from their youth to adulthood. But why are these rituals important in the Luya culture? Uh, well, uh, that's what we are about to uncover. Uh, initiation rituals serve several uh, crucial purposes. Uh, they play a key role in preserving uh, cultural knowledge. Uh, they also uh, in impacting responsibilities and shaping the character and values of the Luya youth. So straight into it, uh, during the school holidays, specifically in August and December, uh, the Luya people come together for these um, most uh, culturally significant events, and this is the circumcision ceremonies. Uh, these uh, rites of passage are not just mere rituals, they are very grand ceremonies uh, that uh, go deep into their traditions. I will tell you for free that uh, uh, the feeling at these uh, events is truly amazing. And uh, there are many cultural celebrations and traditional songs, joyful dances and shared meals uh, that reflect the unity of a community so strong in traditions. Actually, days to the actual circumcision day, uh, they, there's a lot of singing and dancing with the boys that are yet to be circumcised. Uh, they usually lead them with bells tied on their hands, shaking and uh, singing along with the crowd and just having a lot of fun. Most of the songs that are sung during this time uh, I remember when we were young, we used to follow them and sing around and have a lot of fun. You would sing and go very far and not, it was just a lot of fun. And most of the songs that were sung uh, and are usually sung in these events, the circumcision song, were mostly composed uh, on the happenings in the community. Most of the people that uh, ended up uh, doing bad things in the village you'll not miss to have their song during the, the next season of circumcision. And this was basically to, uh, to make sure that the morals of the people were, were guarded and people were able to behave well. So on the day of the ritual, uh, the young boys' day began very early in the morning. Uh, they would go very early in the morning to their uncle's place. And at that place, they will receive a lot of presents, including maybe something like a calf, a chicken, or they would give them a piece of uh, sheep meat that is wrapped over their shoulders. This was basically to show their approval as they mark uh, their journey into manhood. This was bestowed by their uncles. The journey then leads them to the edge uh, of a river, a location with a uh, deep meaning. Um, at this point, they immerse themselves in cold water, uh, an act of bravery uh, that not only numbs their bodies, but also uh, represents their courage as they prepare for the circumcision. And so by the river bank, a significant transformation occurs. The circumcision happens. And uh, after that, they carefully apply mud decorations Intricate in their design, uh, they cover not only their bodies but also their faces. Uh, around their waist, they wrap a, a hide of skin very carefully because they, they have already had the op operation, so they have to be very careful. And this signifies their cultural heritage and a connection to their ancestors who, are, who, who once uh, trod the very uh, path. Just to mention is that instead of the hide of skin that they tie around their waist, uh, today most of them use uh, lessos. So uh, instead of the hide of skin, they use lessos because now the hide of skin is not very available today. 
The most important part of this celebration is the presentation of the traditional songs and dances. These captivating motions uh, are guided by young men who have already accomplished uh, this significant ritual. Alongside them are slightly older uh, girls uh, joined, uh, who joined together in commemorating the journey of these young uh, initiates. Uh, they go beyond the individual and create a strong sense of unity uh, and shared identity within the community. The rhythms are marked by powerful beats of the Sikuti uh, drums, uh, which are typically played by a group of three uh, drummers. Uh, each beat carries a profound message, and uh, underlining the idea that strength is the fundamental essence of manhood. More than just the tunes and the dances, the actual circumcision stands as proof uh, of courage and uh, masculinity. Confronting the sharp blade showcases uh, unwavering bravery. I think it's also important to mention that uh, uh, the very tradition that defines the lawyer people is, the, is at the brink of disappearing today. Uh, the pressures of cultural erosion uh, brought about by factors like intermarriage, uh, integration, urbanization and assimilation um, and the uh, pervasive influence of the digital age are uh, endangering its uh, continued existence. Uh, some parents today, including our very own parents, uh, choose hospitals for circumcision, uh, placing uh, safety above tradition. And so as much as it is uh, eroding the tradition, uh, there are still people that are really deep into it, like, like the Bukusu of the Luya, are really uh, serious about this. And if you go there in August, uh, they, you'll find that they are very uh, deep into it. So as much as it's eroding the specific uh, parts of the Luya land, that it's still uh, very significant. And that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me on this enlightening episode of the Luya Initiation Rituals, the Circumcision Ceremonies. In case you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to share with your friends and also subscribe to this channel. Also, in case you have uh, more additions to this, uh, don't, uh, don't feel shy to comment in the comments below and let's have a, a broader discussion so that we can add value to this episode. Thank you and see you in the next one.